I don't know about you, but crafts are like my favorite things to eat these days. Seriously, like I can't go a week without eating crafts. They are so delicious and so healthy. So on my way to Anejo yesterday, I had a road trip. I saw them and I bought a lot of them. They were so affordable. And today I'm cooking it with Jenkume. My Togolese people can testify. Jenkume is basically some corn and rice flour mixed with stew you know after preparing the crabs in the stew you take out the crabs and you add in the corn flour and this is what it looks like let's cook i would say it's safe to call these crabs monster crabs because they are huge <laughs> i got this sponge purposely for this for these crabs guys I know a lot of people will be pissed why I took off the cover, but I have to. I don't want to keep it. Yeah. So this goes to the trash. You can keep it if you want to, but I don't think I would like to keep it. So this is what I will be eating. I think this is good enough. Because these things are so dirty. So our washing, our washing continues. This is what our crabs are currently looking like. These things are huge. I'm going to boil them with some salt and later I'll wash it out again, you know, just to make sure that everything is properly clean. Yeah, so while that is boiling, I'll go ahead and prep my spices. You all already know, I usually use my ginger, my garlic, <laughs> as always. Yeah. I'll go ahead and prep this and when this is done boiling i'll take out the water and i'll go ahead and marinate it and add in some tomatoes oh my goodness and we can go ahead and prepare our jenkume as well i have a strong feeling this is going to be very very delicious yeah it's gonna be really really yummy so far, if you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. And let me know if you are familiar with these crabs, okay? Uh, I would like to know if you eat them all, like the crabs from the sea, okay? I would like to know because, I don't know, I had a bad feeling about keeping, keeping it home. I was like, ah, these things, they come from very swampy places, so I can imagine what is inside. So, rather, let me take off the cover and wash it properly. Anyways let me know <clears throat> these ones i got them for 1500 francs and immediately like after buying the crab somebody came to me with the same thing i was like how much is like 500 francs i'm like ah that guy scams me yo meaning this thing is like I don't know i feel like a lot of togolese people don't eat this like they don't they eat it though but they, they don't really fancy it like the other ones from this the, the other ones so 
meaning is these ones they are really really cheap so when i saw them i saw the size i was like ah. when he said one one thousand five hundred i was like ah. but they are huge too. so let me pay it's, it's okay eh, immediately <laughs> i bought them another guy came with the crabs he was like send some like 500 how i just paid one five and guess what this other guy had already moved i was like wow wow these guys are not joking eh? <laughs> anyways it is what it is it is what it is survival of the fittest everybody is trying to survive right yeah so i just go ahead and prepare my spices and grind them so we can go ahead and marinate our crabs and yeah let's see how it goes and let me know if you love my recipe <laughs> You all can see the foams. I believe that's the dead coming out. <laughs> yeah, like it's foaming like crazy. Yeah, I think it's okay. I will just go ahead and take out the water and marinate it and cook it properly. that is boiling I'll go ahead and prep my peppers <laughs> yes I want to hear the people who always say that's a lot of pepper that's a lot of pepper I'm the queen of pepper I accept <laughs> yeah see this meal I'm cooking it's not complete without a lot of pepper like I have to add in pepper Peppers are so good. I'm going to add it. We are going to add the peppers in the stew, the tomato stew. Sizes. Yeah. I can already perceive the aroma of the grab. Like, oh my goodness. It smells so good. No jokes. It smells so good already. See the way I'm cutting it. When the stew is almost ready, the crab stew, when it's almost ready, that's when you go ahead and add this in. Okay? So the, 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 the smell will just be sitting there in the stew like, ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be so delicious, you all. I can tell it's going to be delicious. I promise you, it is going to be very delicious. And you see this meal I'm cooking. It's so expensive in Togo. This meal is so expensive, you all. They've been boiling here for like 15 minutes. I'm going to pour everything in here. So we can proceed with the making of our drink. Can you guys see? It's looking so sumptuous already. I want to try like one of the legs. Is it legs or feet? Mm. It's very, very sweet. I must confess. This is the coconut oil I got the last time. I'm going to add in some coconut oil. It's the same taste like the other crabs. So I don't get it why people are shying away from this. This is actually very good. It's very good. I'll start by frying some onion. So 
of the coconut oil is really nice. And from here, I'm going to scoop out some tomatoes. Tomatoes, it's chicken tomato stew. <laughs> So this stew was cooked already, so I don't need to spend a lot of time frying it. We can go ahead and toss in our crab. Some of our green pepper can go in now, just some, not all. And we are going to let this cook for like five minutes. guys tell me the truth did i do well i think they look so delicious they are looking really good this is the flour we are using for jenkume this is corn and rice flour i would say toasted corn and rice flour is it fried okay fried corn and rice flour so you fry the corn you fry the rice then you take it to the grinding mill they will grind it for you and this is the result okay so the stew that is left here, I'm going. I added some water in there, and when it boils, I'm going to add this in there and like a pudding or something. Anyways, you guys are going to see the result. I feel like the tomatoes in there, like it's not enough. Yeah, so I'm going to add more, more of my chicken stew in there. I'll add in a bit of salt again, not like a lot, just like that, and some Maggi cube, that's the, the remains of the Maggi cube, and I'll stir this, we're going to let this cook, we're going to let it boil, and later we'll add this and make our jankume. Safe to say, our jankume is ready. Yeah, it looks so good. Go ahead and scoop my portion out. Okay. So our meal is ready, 
and it looks all put together it's looking so delicious i think i did a good job my togolese people please go ahead and rate my cooking i think i did well oh wow this is looking so sumptuous really nice Finally, it's time to try our meal. I took out some for myself and let's go ahead and try. We thank God for this meal. It's looking really, really sumptuous. Yeah. Mmm. This is so good. So delicious. Wow. On another level, it's so good. I can feel the smell of the crabs, the coconut oil, the stew, everything is all put together. It's so good. And you see this meal? You don't eat this meal anyhow over here. It's in special occasions. Hmm. And my toilet go are watching. Let me know how I did. I did a good job. Mm. This is really good. Wow. I can feel the smell of the pepper. It's like. You know the bell pepper, starch bonnet pepper, like, mmm. I can eat this every day. It's so good, so delicious. Mmm. We've come to the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you all for the support and um, until next time, I have to say bye-bye. Thank you guys so much.